This is Dice Folk, developed by Leap Game Studios and Tiny Ghoul, published by Good Shepherd Entertainment. Dice Folk is an endlessly replayable tactical adventure game, where tilting luck in your favor is not only possible, but key to building the ultimate team. Dice Folk combines the careful strategy of RPG party building with the exciting run-breaking min-maxing of a roguelike. Each Dice Folk session begins at the Talisman selection screen, where players decide which style to adopt for the run. Talisman choice affects which Chimera players will attract to their team, the dice loadout they start with, and the tactics at their disposal. The Warrior Talisman is unlocked from the very start, focused on Chimera with high raw attack power. This is a great talisman to showcase here. The damage output potential is huge without us having to get into overly complex strategies. Let's select the warrior talisman and set off on our adventure. The first big decision is where to go. We can jump headfirst into a battle, however our team isn't very well built out yet. It looks like we have the opportunity to add a new chimera to our party at the chimera shrine, so let's head over there and see what we can find. Sealed inside these statues are chimera, Powerful, tameable creatures, each with their own special abilities. Nice, we got a Kama, a weasel-like Chimera. You may notice that a Kama's base attack is lower compared to our starting party of Belloids, but his passive ability allows him to strike twice for every attack, essentially doubling his damage output. This is a great early game pickup and we'll definitely be adding him to our team. Here we have three statues to choose from. Since we can only free one Chimera per biome, let's go ahead and pick the middle one. As we progress through our run, we'll gather more Chimera, building the ultimate team on our way to confront the evil, Chimera-enslaving Salem. With Akama leading the party, let's get into our first fight. Oh, it looks like we're up against a Kitsuna, whose passive ability copies the base attack of the enemy they're directly in front of at the start of every turn. Hopefully this doesn't cause any issues for us later down the line. Of course, we're going to open things up with an attack, which, thanks to Kama's passive, lands twice. But as you might have noticed, our battle options are a bit different from other games. In Dice Folk, dice rolls determine everything that happens in battle. Your moves and your opponent's moves are all up to chance, but your competitive edge is that you as the player decide the order in which everyone's moves execute. Drop a guard before forcing an opponent to attack, and you won't take any damage. Or use one of your opponent's reposition rolls to bring forth a weak enemy and pick off their back line. Turns will end when every enemy move has been made, so think wisely and plan ahead. Strategy is key to victory in Dice Folk. Throughout the battle, Kitsuna has been using the Entangle action, locking our Belloid in place. This is just one of the dozens of moves usable by friendly and enemy Chimera alike, making each encounter completely unpredictable. Because Kitsuna's passive copies her opponent's strength stat, a well-placed Entangle could have meant tragedy for our team, but thankfully, we've managed to fight back pretty well and make it out relatively unscathed. Thanks to our clever strategies, we've won our first encounter in Dice Folk. Time to collect our rewards and see what awaits us next. The more battles you win, the more the world opens up around you, bringing with it new possibilities to construct the ultimate Chimera team. Helpful locations around the map provide opportunities to strengthen your roles by stacking dice in your favor. Grant powerful new Chimera to fight at your side. And if you get extra lucky, you may come across game-changing pieces of equipment which can boost your entire team.
Once you're all geared up, it's time to confront the big evil shadow taunting you from across the map. Dice Folk's boss battles are the true test of not only your team's stats, but your strategic insight as their leader. Each boss fight centers around the unique gameplay of the boss die, a powerfully stacked enemy die which allows boss characters to execute their moves from anywhere on the board. The possibilities introduced by the boss die completely turn encounters on their head. Players will need to approach these fights with caution if they hope to make it out alive. Make sure you're executing your turn as efficiently as possible. Don't forget about those consumable items you've collected along the way. This will be your hardest fight by a long shot. But if you manage to defeat the boss, you'll be handsomely rewarded with a next level gear choice. Plan your decision around which upgrade would work best with your team's synergies, and you'll have a leg up against the biome that waits just around the corner. Each session of Dice Folk will include chances to encounter new friendly and enemy Chimera, partake in intense battles, and develop run-shattering builds that will take you even further than the last time. Harness the true power of your Chimera team when Dice Folk hits the Nintendo Switch eShop on June 20th, 2024.